Hello, thanks for joining me. Just a quick video this time. I'm going to go over my uh, BL Heli 32 ESC settings that I use for my long range flights. Uh, this is for my AOS Falcon 7 build with the JBF7 flight controller, iFlight Sussex 50 amp ESC, Brother Hobby 2806.5 motors, and a large heavy battery. Now, before we get started, we're going to be connecting a battery to the quad while it's plugged into the computer with the USB so you must remove your props before proceeding any further. So to begin you're going to need to download BL Heli Suite 32 unless you already have it installed on your computer. I'll put a link in the description to the GitHub release page. So the page will look like this. You just scroll down and find the, uh, the right version that you need for your operating system and computer. Get that downloaded and install it and then we'll get on to what's next. All right, now that you've got BL Heli Suite 32 uh, installed and loaded up, you'll need to connect your flight controller to the USB port. And this will let it communicate with the uh, ESC as well. In the bottom left-hand corner of the screen, you'll see an option with a drop-down menu. Here I've got it opened up and mine's on, uh, I think it's USB 8 or COM 8. Your computer will probably have a different number, a different COM port number, but just choose the one that uh, says USB serial device. So click that, choose the correct uh, COM port. Then click the connect button in the bottom left hand corner just beside the COM port and baud rate. And next here we're going to need to connect a battery to the quad. So I'm going to stress again, do not have any props on it. Um, no props when you do this part. Now you can connect your battery and click the button that says read setup just above the COM port selection. And that should bring up a dialog box that looks like this. Uh, yours might be a bit different if you have a different kind of ESC in your quad. Just click OK at the bottom. Now ready to look at our ESC settings. There's not very many that I actually change when uh, doing my setup here. Uh, the basic ones like the minimum maximum throttle positions, I usually set those to 1010 and 1985 and I set them the same in my uh, receiver tab on the Betaflight configurator. Uh, one of the other ones that I changed, I, I think this is a good important change, is setting the timing to 24 degrees. Uh, between 23 and 25 is supposed to be a, a good reliable uh, setting for your ESC. I'll put a link in the description to a video uh, done by Joshua Bardwell talking to, uh, I think his name is Ryan Harrell. He's a very smart guy when it comes to ESCs and uh, mini quad motors and so on. And then the one last setting that I change while I'm in here is uh, the ramp up power. I usually reduce, I believe it starts at 50% and I usually reduce that to 25 or 30%. I think you can go even lower, but I always stick to about 25 or 30%. Uh, I've also changed my startup beep volume. That's just so the quad's not so annoying when I plug it in. Now, after making these changes, you're gonna wanna click right setup or before that, you wanna make sure that the numbers one, two, three, four underneath multiple ESC, make sure that all four of them are highlighted then click Right Setup. Now this information is all stored on, on each individual ESC. And then the only other thing changed from the defaults here is my motor direction. And then that's going to be a different for each one of you, depending on uh, how the wires are soldered up for your motors to the ESC. Because of course you can change the direction of the motor by changing two of the wires connected to the ESC, or you can change the direction, this is the easier way, by just selecting which ESC you want to change the direction of by having only one of these four buttons, the one, two, three, four, only highlighting the one that you want to change, and then just clicking on the uh, reverse or normal direction and then right setup. And then you can highlight um, a different ESC number and deselect the one you've just changed and go through them all and get the direction set the way you want. And that's it for this video. Pretty simple and straightforward to get BL Heli Suite 32 set up. Uh, my next one will be about the uh, beta flight settings. Thanks for watching, I'll see you on the next one.